What is up agents, this is Wrecker, back with another quick guide to XP farm, especially now that we have an apparel event active. Now we're talking the most efficient method, which means the goal is to gain the most amount of XP in the least amount of time, regardless of personal preference. And the reason I say that is because I do understand there are many other variations of this method to gain XP, depending on many different factors like player's playstyle, what build they want to run and what activity they prefer to do and many others but this isn't that this is what i do personally when i farm it for xp in order to gain shade levels as fast as possible and when i say fast i'm talking clearing up an activity within 30 to 40 seconds max so around 550k xp in less than a minute if you follow this method so with that being said let's get into the breakdown Okay, so I'm going to just run through the build real quick because it's already on the channel. I'm going to link it in the description. So basically, we're running the Sharpshooter spec. For the primary, we are running the SRSA1 with the talent determined. For the secondary, I'm running my Scorpio. And for the sidearm, we are running our D50 with determined as well. Now for the gear pieces, we are running four piece hotshot. In my case, I'm running the mask, the holster, the knee pads and the gloves. Same attributes on all the gear pieces, that's headshot damage. And if you get an extra slot, uh, for example, in the chest piece, just put weapon handling and you should be good to go. Along with the mods, those are also headshot. Now for the chest piece, we are running the chain killer named chest piece here with the talent perfect headhunter. Same thing, all reds, headshot, weapon handling, all that good stuff. Lastly, for the backpack, we are running the memento. Now that's pretty simple. The skills that I'm running is the decoy, that's very helpful. And the bulwark shield. Now this is only a backup skill here. So in case I get into a sticky situation and I need to back up or some NPC gets too close to me, I just pull up my bulwark shield. It puts the D50 in my hand automatically with determined. And that's a very safe method to back up in case you need to. Now the next thing that I wanted to mention is the Memento backpack is that you don't really need to use it. It's because as you can see in the background, I do not have any Memento stacks whatsoever. Yet I'm still able to hit one shot to every NPC that you see. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because not everyone wants to use Memento and you can simply use any other backpack with Vigilance or any other damage talent and the build performs just as good. As you can see in the background, I was able to clear out this public execution within a minute. Uh, almost, I think, in 30, 40 seconds. But yeah, the build damage does not uh, get affected. So basically, use Memento or not, the build performs just as good. So simply use any backpack that you prefer and you should be good to go. Okay, so the other thing that I want to mention here is another tip that I do personally is that if you go to your map section, I would highly recommend staying in the bottom section of the map. And what I mean by that is that three regions in particular, that's West Potomac Park, uh, East Mall and Southwest. Now, the reason why I say that is because these three regions are going to give you activities strictly for Black Tusk or True Sons. And why do we need these two factions to fight is because every little second counts. And what I mean by that is because whenever you do a public execution for either of the two factions, Black Tusk or Crew Sons, they do not spawn any NPC with the helmet. Yes, it's not a big deal. It's only a few seconds, but still it's less efficient. And since we are talking the most efficient way to farm XP in the shortest amount of time, it does count. It does matter. So whenever you do a True Sun or a Black Tusk public execution, you will not see any NPCs with helmets. And that breaks the chain killing, especially if you're running a one shot bill like I am. So that does count, uh, even if it's only a few seconds. So I have to uh, recommend doing this now if you see if i zoom in a bit you will see that in these particular areas you will only see true suns especially east mall and southwest that's really true suns you won't find any other activities maybe black tusk if there's an invasion in the area so that 
but that's totally fine because we want to do black black tusk as well and the second thing i want to mention here is that i stick to public executions only now again this is my personal preference is because i want to gain the maximum amount of xp in the shortest amount of time and public executions do that right but only if there is no public execution left on these regions or on the entire map which i don't think ever happens you will always find one but if that happens then only i switch over to the territory controls that you see here because that's the second best when it comes to clearing up an activity as fast as possible you get two waves but the thing with the territory controls is that it is gonna spawn npcs with the uh, helmets so then again there there goes a few more seconds that you have to spend but i would highly recommend sticking to public executions now a few more tips that i want to give here is that these are my favorite spots because they do tend to spawn public executions almost like 95 percent of the time because these specific spots are i guess you know set with public executions i'm not entirely sure because sometimes I have seen other activities in the same spot but 95% of the time these areas are gonna spawn public executions like the one that I'm pointing here right next to the DZ East main entrance this spot 99% of the time spawns a public execution no matter how many times you do it you do it you go back uh, to another area it's gonna spawn another one within a minute or two so this one, then we have uh, this spot right here. Right now I see a true sense uh, territory control here, but this also spawns public execution quite often. Also, these two spots that you see here right next to the Air and Space Museum, this one and right next to this one, these three usually are public executions, all three of them. But that's just a tip here that I want to mention, just like these ones that you see here in uh, the West Potomac Park. You will see quite a few public executions right next to each other so stick with the public executions and uh, only do other activities uh, when you have to okay so the last thing i wanted to mention uh for the people who do not want to use a one-shot build because i do understand not everyone wants to one-shot everything even though it's the most efficient way presently in the game you can simply change out one little change and uh, you should have almost the same amount of xp and this time you can use any build that you prefer and the only change that you want to do is that global directives you can simply turn off ammo holders now in this season specifically it may change in the future but uh, the only directive that's actually you know uh, gonna force you to use certain types of bells like one shot bells is the ammo directives so either ammo holder or pistol arrow stuff like that can actually halt you from doing that so i would highly recommend simply disabling the ammo holder directive it's only gonna take away like plus 25 percent of xp uh, as a bonus but that doesn't make that much of a difference uh it's still a good amount of xp like 100 percent for four directives is still really good use any other weapon that you would prefer like ar rifles now you don't have any problems with the ammo run any build that you prefer four directives heroic and the same exact things that i mentioned as far as activities go and you should be good to go so yeah that's pretty much it this is basically a quick guide and uh, again this is what i do personally as per my own method that i follow in order to gain XP as fast as possible. I'm not saying this is the only way, but yeah, this is the most efficient that I have found. So let me know what you guys think about it. Feel free to comment what is your preferred method to you know gain XP as fast as possible. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.